Day 18. John Wesley once wrote, Whether you like it or not, read and pray daily. It is for your life. There is no other way. Else you will be a trifler of all your days. Do justice to your soul. Give it time and means to grow. So do not starve yourself any longer. Then the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness so that the devil might tempt him. After Jesus had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, he was starving. The tempter came to him and said, Since you are God's son, command these stones to become bread. And Jesus replied, It's written, People won't live only by bread, but by every word spoken by God. That's Matthew's version. Jesus was equipped to deal with evilness. He had done justice to his soul, having lived the scripture. So when his gnawing hunger, the temptations to turning stones into bread came, Jesus' mind went back to the wilderness trek of his ancestors and the lesson God had taught. People don't live on bread alone. So here are these words from Deuteronomy 8. You must carefully perform all the commandment that I am commanding you right now so you can live and multiply and enter and take possession of the land that the Lord swore to your ancestors. Remember the long road on which the Lord your God led you during these 40 years in the desert so he could humble you, testing you to find out what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. He humbled you by making you hungry and then feeding you the manna that neither you nor your ancestors had ever experienced. So he could teach you that people don't live on bread alone. No, they live based on whatever the Lord says. A meaningful life of prayer is rooted in living with the scriptures. Today, let's put ourselves into the scripture. What challenge or guidance is there for us? What is God providing that nourishes us? our hearts, our minds, our relationships? O God, take up residence in our hearts and minds so that all who come in contact with us will meet you in us. Let us become instruments of your hope and glory to all the people around us, especially to our denominational leaders and those delegates who will represent us at the general conference. Let them meet you in us as we open ourselves more and more to you. We offer ourselves to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Join us tomorrow for date 19 of 31 Days of Prayer. You can find the daily prayers at transformingmission.org forward slash 31 days. Now go lead a movement of Jesus followers. Bye for now.